The research here, it, it covers like a wide range of different topics, which is really, really cool because downstairs you get all the gut microbiome stuff, all the food health stuff as well. And then there's also that link downstairs with the endoscopy unit. So this is actually used by the NHS as well. And then upstairs you have a lot of like microbe interactions, bacteriophages, food safety, a lot of different projects, each very interesting and there's a lot of equipment here that you might not have in other institutes that's really like available to you. I'm looking at the gut liver axis and its role in liver regeneration. So my project is mostly looking into how multi-species biofilms um, respond to stress. And I'm working on how uh, dietary compounds um, such as polyphenols uh, can be used to help combat uh, pancreatic cancer. In my project I'm studying the relation between gut microbiome and colon cancer. I'm investigating disinfectant resistance in hospital acquired infections. Um, and my project is looking at E. coli niche adaptation. And I have two supervisory team members. Um, one of them is the head of phylogenomics here at the Quadrum and the other is an expert in metabolic models. And They've been really good at looking at my work, asking me questions and trying to progress my thinking, which has been really, really nice. Prepares you for a broad range of life skills like communication and translating your science. I'm on a BBSRC funded doctoral training program. So that's the BBSRC DTP. So the program is across Norwich Research Parks. You also get to do a three month professional internship at a kind of place of your choice. So there's the MMB DTP work that's microbes, microbiomes, and bioinformatics. So that's very rapid focus. The EDCF program is focused on three topics of plants, food, and health. You get the opportunity to uh, go across different labs. The rotations you do in your first year. There's also IK students, so they work with an industrial partner. Industrial partnership between the Quadram Institute and one company, and it's quite cool because whatever you get from the academic side of view, you can translate it to the industry. It was also good in case you want to finish the PhD and go to an industry, you already have this three months uh, placement. So uh, my project is part of Gilaitons. It's an innovative training program, Mary Curie Studentship, funded by the European Commission. Collaboration with different people from all around the world, especially in Italy, in Netherlands, Germany. The Norwich Research Park is a really nice environment where you get all these opportunities. It's great because there's lots of other students and not just at the Quadrum. You can form lots of other friendships across the research park. And yeah, there, the different institutes in the Norwich Research Park also offer you different training. Addressing the inclusivity at the Quadrum and at the research park as well, there is a really good group, LGBT plus focused people and they set up events. You have a lot of support. You have your supervisors, you have um, your postgraduate research director, you've got um, student community. So all of that is sort of helps to relieve any worries that you have. So it's really nice at Quadrum. It's really sociable. Um, both the students and the staff are really, really friendly and really happy to help. Um, across labs, we kind of collaborate with other labs. If we're doing something we haven't done before, then we can ask people in other labs and they're usually really happy to help. And it's just like a big, open, motivating environment because everyone's working hard, everyone's working together. You are surrounded by really, like not just the student, boss, dogs, PIs, they're really welcoming to have any kind of discussions. No matter I face any issue in my project or my med lab, I, I, I always find a hand. You also have some worries about it, like, oh, I'm just starting in a different country. Mm -hmm. uh, how is it going to be? But you have a lot of support here. Uh, English programs available at UEA, so if you're worried at any time about your English or you just want to improve and, yeah, just want to have an extra training, you, you have English courses available. A lot of PhD students, they do face like mental health problems during this part of their life. There is a really good support system here 
Uh, so we have the student support services set up by the UEA, but we also do have our supervisory teams that we can talk to. And we also do have a mental welfare officer on the QSF. So at the Quadrum, we have the Quadrum Student Forum. This act as a voice uh, for students at QIB. We have really big community. The committee arrange different activities. When we go on work socials, like student work socials from here, we go and do a lot of fun things in Norwich. If you've just joined to meet older students, which is often really helpful having students in other years because they can give you advice on like what's to come. Um, so that really helps for you to meet students outside your group. Um, sometimes we also do um, events across all the institutes so you can meet people across other institutes as well. So it really helps you like build your network um, within the Norwich Research Park. I love the student community here. It's one of the highlights studying here actually. Um, everyone is so friendly, everyone's really nice. They're really supportive as well um, and Whenever we have social events set up by the Student Forum, um, everyone has a great time. Being a student in Norwich is really fun. Norwich is really beautiful, so I really like, you know, it's really nice to come and live here. I am from Sudan, uh, Northern Africa, and then I went to China for three years to, de to do my master. Uh, when I moved to UK and Norwich specifically, I found the place so quiet, like compared to you used to live in crowded area. For people, they like nature and like to be just kind of quiet, do some activities. A good thing, there is a lot of stuff to do here. I would say if you're thinking about applying for one at Quadrum, definitely do apply because it's a really social place. Kind of recommend or advise anyone starting at QIP. It's good to like just approach people. Definitely speak to your prospective supervisor before you either before your like, interview, if you have an interview, or, um, or before you accept the project. If you're able to, then definitely try and speak to like, some of the students in their group or some of the postdocs. I would say you have to look for you, what you really like and just obviously look for the group as well, but go for it because you're going to have all the support you need 